This week's responding to your comments is on earwax. Light Chico said, me listening to this video with one ear and the subtitles on. Please make a video on earwax removal. Well, consider it done. Hit that like button if you're fired up for this, and let's go. So let's dive straight into tip number one. I am forever recommending medical grade olive oil eardrops or almond oil eardrops for my patients because there is so much evidence supporting their use for patients with earwax. If you do get it from the chemist, make sure it's got the dropper with it though. Because here's what happens when you use it. You see, the oil lubricates your ear canal. It also goes into the earwax and it enhances the spiralization expulsion process that your earwax naturally takes to come out of your ear. Easy as that. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pop two to three drops in the affected ear using the dropper that comes with it for about two weeks and make sure you follow the instructions that come with it. And here's a pro tip. Once you put the drops in, push down on here. That's called your tragus. When you push down on that, it's gonna cause an even distribution of the oil. So let me tell you what's gonna happen next. You're gonna use the medical grade oil eardrops from your chemist. You're not gonna use the cooking oils. You're then gonna go to sleep, and one of these days you're gonna wake up with a load of earwax on your ear, on the pillow. Sounds nasty, right? But we want that because it's a sign that it's working. You may even be talking to one of your mates, and as you're talking, you might just feel a clump of earwax fall in your ear canal, okay? And that's amazing because that's what we want. That is a sign that it's working. So let's jump straight into tip number two, cotton swabs. Get rid of them. I'm gonna tell you a story now. I see about two to three patients every single week who have punctured their eardrum using cotton swabs. And now I'm gonna give you a live demonstration of what my patients tell me when they use their cotton swabs. So let's imagine this is your eardrum and this is your cotton swab, okay? And this is your ear canal. Imagine an imaginary ear canal. And they're putting it in there, they're putting it in there and like, yeah, Abraham, I was using cotton swab. And then I was just pushing it in, and I was pushing it in and boom. And then that happened, okay? That is literally what happens when you use a cotton swab. Stay away from them. I see it all the time that patients are puncturing their eardrum, and believe me, you don't want that. And in addition to that, all you are doing when you're using a cotton swab is pushing that wax in further and further, and making the earwax deeper and deeper and thicker and thicker, and just making it harder to remove. So stay away from it. I think I've, I've, I've said it too many times now. Let's move to the next scene. Now rolling on to tip number three, other eardrops such as docusate sodium, sodium bicarbonate, urea hydrogen peroxide, they're all pretty good at getting rid of earwax. But here's my take on them. Generally speaking, they are very expensive compared to the natural medical grade oil eardrops. And they can cause a lot of dryness and itchiness of the ear canal as well. So please do bear that in mind, but always speak to your healthcare professional before getting them. And moving on to tip number four, please do remember if your earwax hasn't cleared after five days or it's really, really blocked and you really can't hear anything, please do seek medical attention. I'll also leave more information in the description below. Now, if you found this information helpful, show some love right now and consider supporting our team by donating us a coffee. Simply click the thanks button below and donate whatever you can because your support will help us to create more medical videos like this and help improve people's health. Sending awesome vibes.